Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. Voters in Colleen send a strong message to the city's school district. On Saturday, they voted to pass $426 million in bonds to build new schools and renovate others. And that includes a new STEM high school focusing on science and math. But what does this mean for parents living in the neighborhood where the new schools will be built? As Channel 6 News reporter Jillian Angeline shows us, there is some mixed reaction for the plan. This sign sits on Chaparral Road, letting residents in South Killeen know what's to come for the neighborhood. I knocked on some doors in the community right back here, asking them what they think about this plan. Just one way the district plans to spend the bond measure money. I think it's great. I think it'll be great for the community because a lot of the schools right now are overcrowded. Akara Jordan is a mother of two, a nine year old and a 14 year old. Her nine year old is homeschooled now, but he'll be heading into the Killeen School District and the new high school when it's built. For my son, I'm excited that it'll be a, a new start for him because he is only going to be in uh, fifth grade next year. A few houses down, Devin Bailey is dad to children four years old and six months old. He wasn't aware of the new school that will be across the quiet street where he lives now. It's quieter over here. You know, we're a little bit further away from the crowd. And it's the pretty much the end of the neighborhood at this point in time. So there's less traffic. Don't have to worry about anything. KISD spokesman Terry Abbott tells us they will be planning and designing the school and its curriculum for the next year and then construction starts for two and a half years. The possibility of things going wrong, trash and debris flying everywhere, who's going to be responsible for cleaning that up? The school is set to open in 2022 once the school is built and rezoning complete. Some students from Ellison, Shoemaker and Harker Heights high schools will be attending that new school. Well, have we not passed that four years from now? Uh, all of our high schools will be badly overcrowded. Abbott went on to explain that four years from now, Harker Heights High School alone would have 700 students over what the school could actually hold. For more information about how this all affects homeowners, go to our website, kcentv.com. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jillian.